Hello and welcome to this Key Stage 5 Dr. Ross Maths video on multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. Now to be honest this is mostly a recap of what you studied at a younger age, perhaps at GCC level or whatever equivalent qualification you did. Now hopefully you know how to multiply fractions together. If I had say 2 over 3 and I timesed it by say 6 over 5, then I can multiply the numerators together to get 12 and then I can multiply the denominators together to give 15 and then we can just simplify that fraction. So we can divide by 3 to get 4 over 5. But you might also be familiar with the idea of cross-cancelling. So we can simplify before we actually get to timesing these together. So can you see that uh, this 6 and 3, we can identify a common factor diagonally of 2 and you can replace that with 2 because we can divide it by 3 and if you divide that by 3 as well we get 1 and now we can just do 2 times 2 which is 4 and we do 1 times 5 which is 5 so we get the answer directly. So that's called cross cancelling where you're identifying common factors diagonally and we can use that principle here when we multiply algebraic fractions together. So let's do that here. So we've got x plus 5 over x and we're timesing by it, and the strategy here is to factorise everything you can first, to identify all the factors, just like we can identify common factors here. So we've got 4 over, now if we factorise x squared plus x minus 20, you should know how to do that, you get x plus 5 times x minus 4. Now can you see that we have a common factor diagonally here of x plus 5? So we could cross that out and just replace with 1 because x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 is just 1. And we can cross that out. And that just leaves 1 times 4, which is 4, over x times x minus 4, which is x brackets x minus 4. And there's no need to expand that uh, bracket out at the bottom. We can just leave it factorised and that's absolutely fine. What about this second one? We want to do 3 over x squared minus 9 times by x minus 3 over 6. Again, we can do some cross-cancelling. So the 3 and the 6, we can divide them both by 3 to get 1 and 2. And then this, I need to factorise it first. So I should have written that out first. So we have, uh, we've now got 1 over x plus 3 times x minus 3, because that's the difference two squares, times by x minus 3 over, well that's now become 2, and we can now see that that x minus 3 cross cancels to leave just 1 there, so we're left with 1 times 1 which is 1, and we've got x plus 3 times 2 which is 2 brackets x plus 3. We could write 2x plus 6, but there's no need to. And then finally, question 3, we've got a division this time, so we've got 8 over x minus 2 divided by 4 over, and I'm just going to factorise this immediately, x minus 2, x minus 5. Now, do you remember, when you divide fractions, you turn the divide into a times, and you flip the second fraction. I've sometimes seen this as keep, change, flip, and some teachers try to use the acronym KFC, which seems a bit stupid because that's the wrong order of letters. It's keep, change, flip, KCF, not KFC, as much as KFC food is good. So what we do is we flip the second fraction and we turn that into time. So keep, change into a times, and flip. So x minus 2, x minus 5, over 4. And then we just cross cancel as we usually do with a multiplication. So 8 and 4, we can divide them both by 4 to give you 1 and 2. We can cross out these x minus 2s, so that just becomes a 1, and now that becomes simple. So it's 2 times x minus 5, which is 2 brackets x minus 5. And we've got 1 times 1, which is just 1, and never, ever, ever leave a fraction over 1. It's just 2 brackets x minus 5, or if you prefer, 2x minus 10. It's the same thing.